Before we get too far into the build, I just want to say, please be very careful using power tools, especially tools like the table saw. They can be very dangerous if not used properly. I've got quite a bit of experience now, but it still frightens me. And I think having that fear of the tool is actually a good thing because you will just be extra careful while using it. The wood that I used to make the cabinet was brought from a local DIY superstore and they have the big machine to cut the wood to size which is good otherwise I wouldn't get it into my car. So I quickly want to show you how I decided what cuts to ask them to make. So I'm using 123 design because I just know how to use it really well and we can see the large sheet would be the wood that I brought which is 2440 by 1220 18 millimeter plywood. This is the side that I imported from the files that I got from classicarcadecabinets.com and I used that as the base to figure out what cuts I wanted to make. So normally I would get them to cut this piece out to match the side and then whatever was left I would ask them to cut to the width of the cabinet so that all the pieces are the same width with straight edges and that would just make life so much easier but on the day it was really really busy and there was a huge queue and I decided to just ask them to cut the side this one side out so I got them to cut this point one five three five straight down and then I asked them to cut across at 790 so I then had three pieces so this one piece for the side a piece here and then this piece and then repeated that on the second piece of wood so on here we can see that we just have all of the individual parts and uh, this is the bottom this is the top if I open up the second sheet Again, we have our side and then we have the coin door and uh, I can't remember what that piece was for, but we have more than enough wood to do all of the main pieces. I then made myself a model of the cabinet so that I can visualize how everything goes together and we can see all the parts, the coin door, control panel support, control panel, a quick mock-up of a monitor so that I can see how it fits in, plexiglass. So before I've started to make anything, I've got a good idea of how everything will go together and the pieces that I need to cut. The video is going to be split up into the various sections. So the first two parts will be making the sides. We'll use a paper template, cut with the jigsaw, trace that around with the router so that we can make two sides that match and then we will cut the t-mold groove after that we then cut all of the wood to the correct width then once we've cut all the wood to the correct width we cut them down to size for each individual part on the cabinet once they're all cut down to their individual sizes we can work on the individual parts. Some need more time than others, especially the coin door section. That was quite a bit of time. Once all those parts are cut, we can then do a test assemble, make sure that everything goes together okay. Then we can look at doing the painting and sanding and applying vinyl and putting the cabinet together. So this is basically how I'm going to make this Atari Tempest Dig Dug style cabaret and I hope that you enjoy watching the series. This is going to be for my template and I'm going to stick the paper that I had printed onto this and then cut the shape um, using a jigsaw. And I'm using thin MDF because it would be easy to cut and it was cheap. Um, it was slightly longer and I needed it to be wide. I didn't want to buy the 2440 by 1220 sheet, so I just added the bits on that I needed to.
I had this printed at a local place called Cycle Printworks, and this was taken directly from the PDF that we got from the website and uh, printed on a one to one scale. So, this is the shape that we're basically going to cut out. This also shows where all the various parts go, but I'm not going to follow all of those. Uh, I'm going to change a few things. I have my safety visor with a head mounted camera so that we can do the close up work and you can see what I'm seeing. So, we should be able to look at this now, we can see the shape. Um, so, I'm going to trace around the edges and um, cut this out and then follow that around with a jigsaw using a straight edge for a lot of the straight sides. So let's get this laid down flat and, uh, and then get it glued down to the paper. So we're going to cut along this bottom edge. That is our template cut out. I'm not too worried about these bits because um, I just need this as a guide. So we don't need to cut any of that, it's just this that we're cutting out. Okay, so now we're going to glue this down onto this wood. Let's have some spray. Okay, so we'll let that dry.
So first of all, we want to set our straight edge and we need to position it to the gap of the jigsaw, which is 35 millimeters. So this is our template for an Atari Tempest Cabaret. Now that we've cut this out and smoothed all these edges off, we can now use this as our template for our router when we use the, the trace bit. And we just traced around that top edge to cut out the plywood underneath. That will be the next video. Thank you for watching. Oh, well, there we go. I've fucked it up without even trying.